These are 19 anime scenes that got banned. And we have to start with the Pokemon scene that sent 600 kids to the hospital. See, back in 1997, when episode 38 was aired on live television, it became clear that the animators had made a deadly mistake. Because 13 minutes into the episode, Ash and his friends entered some sort of underground disco room, which caused people's TV screens to flash extremely bright colors. These lights flashed so much that they caused hundreds of kids to have seizures, sending them to the hospital. Nobody died, but parents freaked out on the anime, with several of them even suing Pokemon. The episode was removed from TV and only returned after the light scene was cut out. Now, I keep getting sued over what four kids did to One Piece, because they absolutely ruined the show. Back in 2004, One Piece was getting so popular that a company called Four Kids decided to make a version for kids. But their changes were just ridiculous. I mean, they literally turned guns into toys. How can you take any of these pirates seriously when they're pointing a water gun at you. But that isn't even their worst weapon censorship. They changed a scene where this guy was being threatened with a gun to him being threatened with a shovel. Yeah, they really weren't thinking the censorship through. But the most famous 4 kids censorship has got to be Sanji's cigarette. This guy is always smoking, which is a big no-no for a kid show. So what was the solution? They changed his cigarette into a lollipop. This takes the medal for the most unnecessary change of all time. Think about it. They literally had to redraw all of Sanji's scenes when they could have just removed the cigarette entirely. But some anime censor scenes that should just be banned. Like there's one scene in Chainsaw Man's manga that should have never been added to the anime. See, in chapter 21, this girl vomited into Denji's mouth. For some reason, the show decided to put it in the anime too, and even though it's pixelated, it's still hella gross. Tokyo Ghoul was a smashing success from the beginning, but that didn't stop streaming services from censoring the heck out of it. Cause they put this crappy x-ray filter on top of any scene with blood, while gorier scenes got darkened to the point where it was impossible to see what was going on. Kinda lame when the main point of the show is man-eating monsters. But that's not even half as weird as the censorship in Attack on Titan's manga. See, when the manga first began spreading to Malaysia, the government had a problem. The Titans weren't wearing any clothes. So to fix it, they chose to add skin-tight shorts to every Titan, making it look like a weird yoga class. Honestly, this change makes Attack on Titan more inappropriate, because if the Titans are wearing these shorts, then that implies that they have to cover something up. Yeah, getting banned sucks. One show even destroyed their own anime while trying to avoid a ban. See, Terraformers is an anime known for being violent. So to avoid getting banned, they censored their own show until it just got ridiculous. Like in episode 3, there's random black circles covering the screen. But this isn't even the worst censoring they did, because they censored one scene so much that you can't see anything except the subtitles. But not every anime censors their scenes as badly as Terraformers. Some do it even worse. Like the anime Danganronpa changed all the blood in the show from red to pink to avoid getting banned. The change did end up saving the show, but now the characters look like they have alien blood. That sucks, but what happened to Whitebeard sucks even more. Because one of his injuries was so bad, it couldn't even be shown in the anime. During the Marineford War, Whitebeard suffered tons of injuries. He was stabbed, shot, and bombed. But the worst injury was when he got half of his head blown off. The damage was so bad that the anime changed his blown off face to a blown off mustache. This is probably the worst censorship so far, since it makes Whitebeard look like a weakling. Who dies from a blown off mustache? Now, if we're talking about banned scenes in anime, we gotta talk about what China did. Because back in 2015, they started banning some of the most popular anime in the world for the weirdest reasons. Death Note? Banned for showing godlike creatures. Tokyo Ghoul? Banned for being a bad influence. Attack on Titan? Banned for naked creatures. If your anime had any blood or violence, it wasn't gonna pass in China. But recently China has gone from banning anime to censoring it instead. Just look at this original design of a Demon Slayer character and then China's censorship. And listen, anime girls get censored all the time, but there's an anime that got banned just for having too much fun. See, the anime Record of Ragnarok features gods from many religions, but the decision to include the Hindu god Shiva came back to bite the creator's booty. Because in the anime, Shiva was depicted as a funny god which goes completely against what Hindus believe. In fact, 
fact, members of the religion were so offended that the Universal Society of Hinduism banned the anime in India, where 80% of the population is Hindu. When it comes to religion, the weirdest things get censored. Heck, they'll even nitpick tiny details in the manga too. Like, take a look at this page in the Full Metal Alchemist manga. This is what it originally looked like, and this is the version that was officially released. Dang, that kind of sucks, but worse things have happened to Pokemon. In fact, there's an episode that was banned two separate times, and Pokemon did nothing to deserve it. See, episode 18 features a Pokemon called Tentacruel destroying a skyscraper and flooding a city. It's not violent, and nobody had an issue with the scene, but right before this episode was supposed to air, the September 11th catastrophe happened, causing American media to ban the episode. It wasn't until Cartoon Network started airing Pokemon that people were able to watch this episode. However, just four years later, in 2005, the episode got banned again because one of the scenes was too similar to a massive storm in the USA. It's really the unluckiest episode in history. And Pokemon's bad luck doesn't stop there, because one country made watching Pokemon illegal. Back in 2001, a countrywide ban was issued, with the main reason being Pokemon's trading card game. In Saudi Arabia's eyes, Pokemon was promoting gambling to kids, something that violates the Muslim doctrine. When Cartoon Network acquired the rights to Yu-Gi-Oh way back in 2001, they banned any mentions of death. Instead of having people die in the show, Cartoon Network created a place called the Shadow Realm, where characters went instead of dying. This was a pretty smart change, but the rest of the censorship was just cringy. Like, they replaced all the guns in the show with people pointing fingers. Now, there's one anime that's so nasty, it got banned in every single country. The anime Shoujo Subaki is so foul that if I talk about the plot, the channel is for sure getting deleted. If you can think of a sin, it's in that anime. And after getting released in 1992, countries all over the world began banning it from TV circulation. All I can say is that it's a story about a girl named Midori who goes through stuff I don't even want to think about. So you're just gonna have to look it up at your own risk. Now some anime decide to take censorship into their own hands, and Rosario Vampire is a classic example of this going completely wrong. This is Ko the Bat. Whenever a scene got a little too inappropriate, Ko would swoop in to cover things up. The anime tried to play him off as a joke, but there were two major problems. First, since he was added after the whole show was animated, the bat looked out of place. And second, Ko showed up way too much. The show was pretty inappropriate, so there was a lot to censor, meaning the bat joke got old real quick. But there's nothing funny about this next anime, because it did something so illegal, they're still banned to this day. This is Osomatsu-san, an anime known for making parodies of other shows. But one of their episodes took things too far, because it ripped off scenes from Dragon Ball, Attack on Titan, and pretty much every other big anime out there. So when Osomatsu-san received lawsuit threats, nobody was really surprised, and the episode was banned from TV forever. In one episode of Dragon Ball Z, producers decided that the word hell on this guy's shirt was too inappropriate, so it was changed to H-F-I-L, the home for infinite losers. Yeah, I don't know about that one, Chief. But DBZ wasn't done with ridiculous censorship, because they invented the laziest way to avoid getting banned. In the first arc of DBZ, the Saiyans were going crazy and killed several innocent bystanders. Unfortunately, killing is a no-no for a kid's show, so the Cartoon Network version needed to make some changes. But I guess the animators didn't feel like spending hours redesigning stuff, so they decided to choose the easiest possible method, leaving the work for someone else. Instead of changing the scene, they made one of the voice actors say, oh, the civilians have safely escaped, whenever it looked like people were dying. The animators really found a way to censor their scene without doing any work. And it takes zero work to click on this next video. Click it.